It's time for building that bankroll. All right. So I've got a new strategy for, for betting on wolf spreads. Uh, if you've been watching the show for a few weeks, you know, we're uh, brought you, the, this segment's brought to you by Wolf Spreads, uh, downloaded on the App Store. Free money, good fun. Um, everybody has a good time. And it, it's just, there's no risk involved. It's all for bragging rights. Uh, so my new strategy, though, you get $2,000. Instead of me betting like 100 on every game, I'm betting 500 on four games. I did it this week. Uh, what was my total at? I think it was close. I think it was over 2000 uh, uh, $1,900. So I win our uh, our our sport or our college football betting segment. I had 1900 Tyler had 170 Wade had 130 Jacob had a big fat zero. Um, I didn't bet. <laughs> he didn't purchase Neal. <laughs> oh well, NASCAR Neil, you're at negative nine hundred. So my uh, yes. recoup come for next next week. To be uh, fair, did I didn't tell like, NASCAR Neil okay. that you lose your bet. Like, not only do you like just it's not zero if you lose the bet, like you lose the amount you put in. So he was throwing some serious cash on some bets, but you know, get well, it it's all week. in good fun. It's all in good fun, right? Look, one of these weeks I'm gonna win without betting on a game. Like I'm gonna be first on the list while everybody's in the negative. <laughs> you would have. You I'm did it last week with NFL. zero. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I yeah. think you did. I think, yeah, strategy. I think you did it this week in NFL. Yes, yeah, you're first was, place with zero. Yes, I was let's go. Tanking in let's NFL. Go. I was at minus fifteen hundred, and so is way. I am tearing up the NFL. Oh, I put a thousand on uh, on Miami last night. Ooh, well, yeah, we're really selling ourselves good for uh for taking our bets. You know, we're we're all in the <laughs> negatives. Yeah, uh, but. Uh, best bet of the week. Let's start with some college. Wade, what do you got? All right. So I just gave you that North Carolina State upset over Clemson. I'm going to give you another upset for my pick of the week. I'm going to take Kentucky money line against uh, Tennessee. It's a home game. They're three and a half point dogs. I think you could take the spread too. I think that gives them a field goal at home. I really like that. Uh, but I think Amongst my two games between the Clemson game and North Carolina State and the Tennessee and the Kentucky game, I mean, I would feel comfortable taking either one of those games straight up uh, with the underdog. Okay. I like it. Kentucky, Kentucky. Uh, they're coming off with two losses. So let's see them bounce back here. Um, Tyler, what do you got for us? I'm going to go with uh, a team here. This team is coming off of a big victory, but they should be on upset alert. Give me Wisconsin to cover the plus 14 and a half against Ohio State. Okay, a big, okay. They're going to be feeling themselves. They're going into Madison with jump around. I think that Wisconsin keeps it close. All right. I like it. Wisconsin. What was it? Plus 14? 14 and a half. Because, well, Mordecai's out for the year, so they're, they're back up. But I trust Luke Fickle in that defense to keep it close. Luke Fickle the Pickle, baby. Uh, <laughs> haven't heard much about him this year. <laughs> no, because I forgot it. Where he coached. Jacob, what you got? Uh, I've got uh, Air Force. I've got them yes. covering the 12 points on the road at Colorado State. Uh, they're they're primed to be 12-0 and 0 this year. Like they're my they, team. They are you think the they make a New Year's two lane of this year. Yes. They will be like the it. representative for Group of Five. Absolutely. I let it called it. Tyler called it before the season. Called it at the start of the season. There we go. Um, so my best bet of the week for college here is going to be uh, we have an SEC matchup, a rivalry matchup with Florida Gators taking on the Georgia Bulldogs. Georgia is currently favored by 14 and a half points. Florida's defense is iffy, right? Uh, Georgia has really good defense, but they lost their playmaker in Brock Bowers. Uh, I think Florida covers the 14 and a half. It's a weird number. I don't think they win by two touchdowns because um, Georgia's offense is kind of sluggish right now. Or they could, but you'd have the half. They could win by fourteen, but I was or they could the just half. win outright. It's a it's a rivalry game. <laughs> weird, <laughs> weird. <laughs> I don't think Florida beats them. Um, weird things happen. What do they call this this uh, rivalry game? Isn't there the name world's or? largest outdoor cocktail party? Yeah, yeah. cocktail what? party. It's weird name. Are you uh, kidding me? Because everybody's like drunk it. in the parking lot. Not really a neutral site either. It's in damn Jacksonville. Yeah, that's no neutral site for Georgia. Um, so yeah, wait, where I, is Florida, it? Florida, Jacksonville. 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 Um, uh, it's about halfway between. Uh, they need sorry. to play in like Savannah. They just need yeah. to do a home and home. Play at the Banana Stadium. <laughs> yeah, you know what they should do is just go play in like at Georgia uh, Southern. 
Yeah, there you go. Put them at Georgia Southern. Perfect. Uh, I was gonna say, just go like to a different state. Go play at like New Orleans. Go play at Super. Or Bowl. just be like every other SEC rivalry and play a home and home. Yeah, don't be weird. Don't, don't have your for you party. just drag. I think well, you just drag both the rest three years. all the way to freaking Hawaii and drop them off out there. There you go. Play with the rainbow. <laughs> the largest Warriors. cocktail party. In Same How about football. when the Jaguars go to to London in three years? Boom. They just play it there. Let's play at Jacksonville. That's, That's going to happen. College football, international college football is going to happen in the next couple of years. Jacksonville is just about to, to move happen. their franchise to London. Well, and, no, that's not my bet for this week. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say that. Perfect segue, Tyler. Uh, but yeah, no, Florida 14 and a half. That's my bet. Uh, NFL picks. Tyler, since you were happy with Jacksonville, is that your is that your NFL pick this week? No, but I am going to go with a team in their division. I'm going to go with the Tennessee Titans. They're playing at home and they're wearing the baby blues too. Uh, I the so I think uh, they're going to pull off the upset against the uh, Atlanta Falcons. Uh, so give me uh, the Tennessee Titans plus two covering that. And I think that they win it outright. Well, we'll see if Bijan Robinson uh, <laughs> starts or not. So, uh, we'll all right, Fletch, what do you got for us on the NFL side? Uh, NFL side, I've got the Jags and the Steelers. Um, Steelers, I think. I think the Steelers can win this game. I mean, they're they're playing at home, tough place to play. And uh, I, I think the Steelers have turned the corner and okay. now better defense. You got some young guys in there. They're making the most of it. Kind of a young, fiery team right now. Um, and, and I think they, they can do it. I think Najee Harris has finally got a touchdown. That it's, maybe he can, finally remembered the NFL season has started. And yeah, really. week seven will will make it happen. So I, I think that... Uh, I think the Steelers can win a big game at home over Jacksonville. Watch, Tyler's going to have them in the sits for this week. Of I starts. don't actually. <laughs> okay, I, I, I told you to not start to, to draft him. I mean, you got one touchdown. Whoop, you do. That's going to be about it. <laughs> got me a win this week, though. Uh, Wade, what do you got for us on the NFL side? All right, I'm going to take the Chicago Bears at plus eight and a half on the road against the LA Chargers. Um, the LA Chargers are what two and five now. Yeah. And so are the Chicago Bears. They're two and five. They got the rookie division two sensation, Tyson Bangent, playing quarterback. And let's face it, uh, the LA Chargers will probably win this ball game, but they're two and five. They don't deserve to be an eight and a half point favorite against anybody. And uh, I think they'll I think they'll win it close. Even if they win it by a touchdown, the Bears cover. Okay. Well, uh, if you have Cole Komet, sit him and start Deontay Foreman. Um because he, he lit it up this week. Yeah. I'm going on NFL side. I'm riding with my boy Joey B and 7 Eleven Jamar Chase. They are five and a half point dogs to San Francisco. Um, it's in San Fran, uh, but I think they had the bye week this week. They're going to be good, and rested, and come back out firing. Give me a give me Cincinnati to win. I'm going to punch CMC right in the oblique in the opening uh, play of the game. <laughs> Yes, and he's going to fumble the ball. And he's it's worth the 15-yard penalty. Yeah, oh, but give me Cincinnati plus five and a half versus the 